As everyone assembles, okay, as everyone assembles around this hole, something unexpected happens. Before the sorcerers can even exit the domain, Toji, my father himself, Fushiguro, suddenly enters through the hole and they're all forced to be a witness to the flesh of the man who is truly free in all of his overwhelming intensity. Toji makes his way into Dagon's domain through the hole that Megami had made in the barrier. Surprised, Megami looks up at the man floating in the air. Maki notices the intruder as a human jujutsu sorcerer and Dagon wonders why his adversaries would let someone in rather than escape. Then in an instant, Toji disappears from sight, suddenly grabbing on to playful cloud with blinding speed. He easily snatches the curse tool from Maki, throwing her aside to arm himself with a playful cloud. Maki didn't even notice any curse energy, so she's shocked that she actually lost in an exchange of pure strength. Megami then reveals that the hole he had just opened in the barrier has been closed and it won't be easy for him to open another. Naobito is the only one amongst them who recognizes who Toji is. Upon uttering his name, Naobito notices the sclera of Toji's eyes filled completely with black. Though Ogami's science technique had the capability to continue after death, it was never meant to last forever. The technique is supposed to end when the host's cursed energy runs out. However, the grandson's soul did not possess any cursed energy as well, and Toji's body that overwrote it did not consume cursed energy. Therefore, it will never end, and now Toji can only fight completely on instinct until the vessel breaks. He is a puppet of pure carnage and destruction. Dakon honestly messes up really bad like right here. He notices Toji has no cursed energy and says that he's a complete waste of time. He summons a Shikigami to attack, but Toji obliterates it in a single swing. With insane speed, he then follows up with a barrage of three section staff strikes that injure Dagon's head, sending him flying back. Surprised, Dagon recognizes that he grossly underestimated Toji's superhuman speed and power. He tries to summon a swarm of numerous smaller Shikigami to attack, but Toji continues to get faster. While running on water like the god he is, Toji effortlessly rushes through all of the fish, striking them apart with a curse tool on his way to attack Dagon. Dagon then summons his hardest and most powerful Shikigami to repel Toji. However, it's dispatched just as easily as the rest. It's explained that Playful Cloud is the only special grade curse tool without a curse technique imbued into it. It is pure and solid power that depends entirely on the wielder's strength. In Toji's hand, he annihilates Dagon's water shield in a single blow, slamming the curse's head violently into the sand. Dumbfounded by the newcomer's domination, Maki can only watch in amazement with everyone else. She asks Naobito who the man is, but he says that Toji is just a ghost. Nanami tells Megami to hold on to his domain for just a little bit longer because they're going to need to bet on Toji. Back with Toji, he rubs Playful Cloud together to sharpen its shape. Injured, Dagon barely stands back up and comes to the realization that he's really about to lose to a human without any cursed energy. He attempts to buy time until Megami's domain runs out by levitating in the air, but once again, Naobito is way ahead of him. Naobito leaps on top of Dagon's head and stops his progress. Seeing this, Toji stacks Playful Cloud's three sections on top of each other to vault himself into the air directly at Dagon. The curse puts up his guard, but Toji stabs Playful Cloud straight through his face. Dagon believes he can still fight, but Toji brutally threads Playful Cloud through Dagon's head and stabs him in the eye as well. He then breaks the chain connecting the three section staff together and rapidly uses both sharpened sides to obliterate Dagon, actually like shanking the Shikigami to death. The domain is dispelled and Maki is shocked that one lone fighter was able to exercise such a powerful curse spirit single handedly. Megami is exhausted from holding his domain for so long and takes the moment to catch his breath. Nanami knows that if Megami hadn't shown up, they would have all been killed, but now they have a new problem. They can't be sure if Toji is on their side or not.